helping your baby deal with a stuffy nose is never easy. Our precious little ones often feel worse when we use earbuds and tissues to clear up their noses. But with a baby nasal aspirator, your baby can relax and breathe easy in no time. Simply insert the tip of the Watol nasal aspirator into the nostril and suck up snot with the press of a button. We suggest using a few drops of Nose Frida Saline Snot Spray to soften the hard boogies first. You can choose from three settings to increase power and gently suck up sticky mucus. You can also press the button to play lovely music and help your baby relax. As fellow parents, we strive to make life easier for families worldwide. Our Woods Holt Nasal Aspirator is designed to make life easy and hassle-free for you and your precious darling. Get yours today with just one click. Hi friends, as a father of five children, I've seen my fair share of congested little noses. And that is why I'm really happy to share my experience of the Nosibu Nasal Aspirator Pro with you. Now some of you may be asking why a child would need a nasal aspirator and here are a few reasons why. Did you know that allergy-like symptoms can be successfully relieved through the use of a nasal aspirator and saline solutions? Or perhaps you knew that little children often get a cold, in fact five to six times a year. And with their inability to actually blow their nose, that mucus stagnates inside that nasal passage. And that can cause serious infection and serious illness. By using a nasal aspirator, you can clear out that mucus and avoid having to give your children medication. But did you know this, that newborns up to the age of six months can only really breathe through their nose. And so with a clogged nose, they find it extremely hard to breathe, sleep and eat. Like many other great products out there, this product was created out of a need two engineer fathers had babies and with sleepless nights when babies get sick they decided to look for the best aspirator that they could find and not a single one suited their needs so what they did is they decided to invent one to create one themselves and they did a fantastic job because they have won so many awards for this incredible design the Nosy Boo Pro has been awarded the PTPA. That's the Parent Tested, Parent Approved Seal of Approval Award in 2017, with over 22,000 parents from North America giving it their stamp of approval. In 2016, they also won the German Design Award. And in 2014, Nosy Boo Pro won one of the world's most prestigious product awards, the Red Dot Design Award. Now something the engineers designed, which is pretty incredible, is the Calibri head. That's what makes the Nosy Boo so special. Inside your pack you'll have the Calibri housing with connector, the Calibri housing without the connector, the nose tip and the collared tube. Collared tube into the Calibri housing. You join the two Calibri housings together. You push in the nose tip and attach your tube. You simply attach this tube to the device housing, attach your power cord to the device and plug in and you're ready to use. Now something you might have noticed and certainly my children noticed this is how friendly the design shape is. It almost looks cartoon like. There are a variety of suction pressures. They have the low setting or the minimum setting which is great for newborns. The middle setting is great for little ones like him and then the max setting is great for children that are a little bit older. Okay should we put it on? There we go. Now let's start sucking. It tickles. It tickles a little. Hey, There we go. Oh, it tickles. As you can see, he doesn't mind at all. In fact, he thinks it tickles. Now something I'm always surprised about is how much mucus is collected by the Calibri. We'll now take the Calibri apart and discard the mucus. Then letting it dry off before we store and make ready for next use. Having a little sick child or baby is not an easy experience, but luckily with Nosy Boo, it's going to be much easier to get them feeling better a whole lot quicker and hopefully some easier night's sleep.
Hello and welcome to this instructional video on how to use the electric nasal aspirator. So first of all we're going to look at what's inside the box. First thing you'll find is an instruction manual. You'll find that there's a gourd type tip. A funnel type tip. A storage tank. A pair of tweezers. And then the body of the device. So here you're going to need to install two AA batteries. Here we are, ready to use the device. The first thing you need to do is choose the nozzle you want and attach it to the storage tank just by pushing it on. Then you take your storage tank and attach it to the body. You push it firmly against it and then turn clockwise. You should feel it lock into place, there should be no wobble. And then you're ready to go. Looking at the device here, you can see there's four buttons. The top middle one is your power button, and that'll turn it on to suction setting one. If you'd like a stronger suction setting, underneath is the S button. And it'll turn it on to suction setting two. Press it once more, and it'll turn on to suction setting three. To turn it back down to suction setting one, simply press the S button again. Over here on the right, you'll see a light button. If you press that, the device will produce an ambient light to relax your baby as well as draw their attention. To turn it off, simply press it again. Over here on the left, you'll see a musical note, and if you press that, it'll play some music for your baby's attention as well. And of course, if you want, you can have them both going at the same time. Simply turn the device off, press the power button one more time. Using the device couldn't be simpler. We do recommend that before using it on your baby, you do test the different strengths on your arm to get an idea for how strong they actually are. But here, I'll give you a quick demonstration. So I'm going to turn it on to suction strength 1 and use it on this cream, which is similar to a thin mucus. We like to make sure that the nozzle gently reaches the mucus. If you do need to dig a bit deeper, you may need to use the funnel type attachment. You can see there that it's sucked up the cream. And if you do have a thicker type mucus, I'll use it as an example here on this jelly. You turn it on, set it up to setting 2, and again gently try and reach the area. And it sucks it up, no problem. To clean the device, take hold of it and twist the storage tank anti-clockwise and pull firmly. If the suction port of the body needs cleaned, simply Use a cotton bud. The same can be done with the nozzle if needed. To disassemble the storage tank, grab hold of the cover Twist the base holding the bumpy bits. Remove the cap and dispose of any mucus.
Grab the tank and twist the base anti-clockwise, holding again to the bumpy sections. Now, simply soak it all in warm soapy water for a few minutes, then rinse each part, let it air dry, and put it back in the storage tank for next time.